What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. Once again, I'm Ralph. This is Shamanda. Hi. And we thank you guys for joining us today. And today, we're going to be reviewing uh, Atomic Blonde, starring Charlize Theron, and James Shana. McAvoy, uh, John Goodman is in it. Uh, it was directed by David Leach. He, he worked on uh, Beat for Vendetta, Fight Club, and uh, 300. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Off you go. All right, so we're going to talk about the parts where I liked. <laughs> um, Charlize. I like her. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I give her... Um, she was <clears throat> in this particular movie. She was, she played a part. Um, <laughs> I like the score. It was based on 1989. 1989. Uh, another, another summer. summer. Yeah, they, they've actually played that in there too. So, yeah. So the score was awesome. The looks, the attire, fit everything, the mohawks, the colors, the whole Berlin type. Um, European look. European the, look. The 80s, yeah. And the 80s look. The um, the the boots, the big mm -hmm. patent leather boots that they used to wear with the heels like this thick. You know, the off everything, the shoulder look. Off the shoulder look. The sweat. Oh, my God. The sweater dress. That Charlie, you got to do that one. Charlie's sweater dress in this movie was awesome. It was awesome. Off the top. The little bra strap, cute. It was really cute. Um, <laughs> the club scenes, because they were really clubbing really hard, mm -hmm. and the whole soccer um, outside, showing the kids playing, and um, the destruction, it seemed like the destruction from war, all the bombed cars and everything like that. So the pictures and everything was good. Um, no CG needed for this particular movie. Um yeah, so those were the things that I liked and the things that I didn't. I did not like this movie. <laughs> I was in the movie trying to figure out how long this was going to be and when was it going to be over. I felt like I was being tortured. I felt like water was dripping on my forehead and I was tied up and it was just... <laughs> I couldn't follow it. So I have a problem with that. Any movie that I can't follow, I have a problem with it because it makes me feel like I'm stupid or something. <laughs> or it wasn't the storyline. It was like, it was just too much going on where it was too much portrayal. Oh, another thing that I did like, we had a little Game of Thrones token in there. Yeah, Samuel Charlie's father. Yes, his voice. Oh my God. When he spoke, I felt like. Yeah, it's made for voiceovers. Destruction terror. <laughs> I felt like thunder was going <laughs> to roar when he spoke. That was it. Okay. Well, uh, like she said, you know, it was done in uh, 89, around the time of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, so you had all that Cold War stuff going on. Um, I thought uh, some of the fight scenes, I thought was like, it looked like they did it in one take, like one continuous shot. Mm. And I thought, I was like, wow, this is nice. This is keep going on. They look like they cut, you know, back and forth from it. Um But how many fight scenes did they have, Ron? Well, three or four. Yeah. Yeah. But uh like Shimano was saying, <laughs> I couldn't follow it. I was like, is it over yet? What's going on? At the end it was like three years later. It was like uh, I was like no, are you three serious? days later or something. It was like are you There's serious? more. <laughs> Look, I had I already could... put my book bag on back and everything. I was ready to walk out. I couldn't find it. I didn't understand it. Maybe I need to see it again, but I don't think I'll buy it. I'll wait for HBO and watch it and see if I can understand you watch it. again? To see if I understand it. Because, I mean... Maybe somebody else needs to give us Or a explain bit. it to me and point yeah. some things out. Cause maybe a whole bunch of stuff that went over my head. Um, I, I know she was a spy. I don't know. I didn't know for who. But we, exactly. We heard eight agencies thrown out there: the KGB, the MI6, the CIA. CIA. You know, I'm like, okay, so. We couldn't follow it. I couldn't follow it. Usually, I, when you have a double spy, it's just two agents, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's two fields. So you're either this one or you're either that one. For her, it was like you're five different people. Right. I felt like she was. 
Yeah, it threw me off. I didn't know. I didn't know where it was going, where it was coming from. I just, I just, some of the action sequences were nice. I liked the color. You know, the I thought the grimy, griminess of it, of you know, nineteen eighty nine Berlin. I was just waiting for the wall to come down and David Hasselhoff to be singing, but. You know, uh, from that moment, I remember. That, that's he actually what, screamed that in the movie theater. <laughs> I, that's what I remember from that moment. I'm so glad there was only eight of us in there. <laughs> yeah, it really was only eight of us in there. Um, man, it it was it was a tough watch for me, and I, I hate to say it, but I like Charlize Theron as an actress. We love her; she's a sister. Right, uh, old girl. I can't remember the girl. Yes, yeah, she was one fine African American. Uh, <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we're black. She's African American. <laughs> uh, old girl from Kingsman with the, the blades for feet. She was in there. You know, she, she was also uh, she was in Star Trek the and the Mummy. Um, she was in Star Trek. Beyond, yeah. Remember she, she was she the white girl. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, yeah. Oh, that was her. Yeah. Oh, I liked her. Yeah, she coming yeah. up, man. She yeah. And she's doing big things. She was in there. Uh, like she should have had a fight scene. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But no, not, that's not really important. But you know, uh, the action. We could have, I needed more. It was supposed to have been a spy film. It was like a female. They said the female James Bond, so I'm like. No, it was not. It was not the female James Bond. I don't let them tell you that lie. I I mean, like a black market James. (laughs) I want to say James Brown. James Bond. Yeah, he ain't 007. He 002. Right, right. I'm, it sucked. It dragged on and on. I I think it was literally like two hours long. And I'm sitting there like, okay, I don't understand what's going on. This is not a good review to come back with after yeah. watching Game of Thrones for the last few weeks. Yeah. yeah, sorry y'all, it's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a minute. Yeah. But we've been on this Insecure and uh, Game of Thrones. She's been on Insecure. I'm sorry. If I could do that review by myself, I would. Because <laughs> Insecure, you say okay. It's good. She should have been in the corner. In a blanket, shivering. Yeah. Not your mouth. Okay. Um. <laughs> I. W- Do we have anything lower than Stakeums yet? No, but we need to get something lower than Stakeums. You guys can suggest things that we can, <laughs> that um that is lower than say How about burnt popcorn? Because it's just that's perfect. That's perfect burnt right popcorn. now. Burnt popcorn. Burnt Even with the current, popcorn. and you still left like ten or fifteen kernels in there, but you burnt the ones that pop. I'm giving it burnt popcorn, man. I couldn't. With the 10 leftover kernels. I can't. <laughs> oh, what the? So, I know at, at the end of the year, you know, we're going to do like our top five movies of the year and our top five least movies of the year. This is going to be on that list. This will be that list. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Along with Alien. Oh. <laughs> she came back and said she liked Alien. I don't even know. Okay, I'm just saying, that. but it won't be the top five. For you. We gotta do five though. November, yeah. September, September, and November is gonna be our work. All right, all right, all right. And so that, uh, that's our review, you guys. I'm so sorry, We're sorry. but we it we love dra- the it 19- drained the mess out of us. It was yeah. draining. I was hungry and frustrated when I left. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh hungry my and God. frustrated. We wanted more. We yeah. didn't get we it. We were expecting a lot more. We were expecting we a lot more because of the. Basically, the previews, they they jacked us up mm-hmm. because they used the best scenes for the previews. Usually, when you do that for a movie, it's not going to sell. And and to be honest, they didn't mention it. The <laughs> Emoji Movie was number two. Oh, wow. What, what was number one? It wasn't Atomic Blonde. Right. It was something that was probably number one before. Yeah, it was something like that. So, Emoji Movie was um probably better. Mm. We probably need to go see that. We probably won't. Right. Oh, Girl's Trip was number one. Oh, yeah. Okay. We haven't yeah. seen that yet. Right. Um, yeah. But anyway, leave your comments. And yeah, so let us know what you think. I mean, are we by ourselves? I, I don't know. Yeah. Let, us, let, let, us us know, know. let us know if we're missing something because right. we didn't get the whole... It was a, it was revol- evolved around the Berlin Wall coming down and the spies based um, in, the, in the just of all that going on. You know what I did like, and I forgot to mention it, and I like movies that do this. It pretty much starts from the end, and then it fills the story in, but it just still didn't work. You know how it's 
Mm. You know, she when when uh, she's talking, it's pretty much the end, and it's just explaining the whole story. It didn't really, but, but it I didn't mean, do. But it. it didn't do that. We like the Pulp Fiction type movies, right. the Reservoir Dogs. Right. Well, I've seen it. You mm-hmm. haven't. Um, that type of format where you have to, you fill it in, you you find out what's going on from mm-hmm. the beginning. I mean, from the beginning to the end. At the end, right? A movie, right? From the beginning. Yeah. Does that make sense? I it's it. a puzzle, right? And you're piecing it together. Yeah, but this that puzzle one, didn't come together to me. There's a couple of pieces that are missing in this action. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just putting stuff together because I don't. I was lost. Sorry, but let us know what you guys think. Like we said, like, Try. comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget you can reach us on uh, Instagram at Married the Film and uh, on Twitter at uh, Married the Film. Yes. Yes. Reach out. Right. <laughs> That's all we got. <laughs> We're drained. We, we need to take a nap. Right. I'm just wore out. This is amazing. That was too much. Yeah. All right. So we'll see y'all later. We love y'all. We too. love you guys. <laughs> Bye.